Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and in today's video I will start a new tutorial series on developing a dance academy website using PHP, Bootstrap framework, MySQL and a little bit of Ajax. And now here you can see this is my completely done dance academy website and exactly same looking website I will be going to create in this complete tutorial series. So now in this first video we will see various features of this dance academic website first of all i just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video then click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel okay so now let us see each and every of these features one by one so now this dance academy website is having three users first user is an admin who will be uploading various categories dances setting up prices editing categories editing uh, various dance forms and many other features are there for admin and there is an another user who is instructor and when an instructor gets logged in in his or her dashboard instructor can update their profile and they can upload their skills as well and there is an another user which is a student when a student gets logged into this platform student can also upload their profile and student can also enroll for any of the dance course so now this is our home page and in this home page as you can see we have few links like home about us our services instructors and contact us and we have also register and login okay and I have created a nice looking banner here at the top with three images okay. and below this slider I have shown various dance categories okay and we have various categories like Indian classic African American and then novelty ceremonial social and many more in each and every of these categories I have uploaded various dance forms and there is a tag is also mentioned at the top of this each and every categories card and below the categories I have shown various dance forms like Bharatanatyam, break dance, tap dance, swing dance, hip hop dance and other dances as well okay and we have various coaches or instructors as you can see here their images their name and their experience is also mentioned okay and then at the end we have the testimonials where the feedback of the students will be given along with their name okay so this is everything about the home page so this each and every piece of information which you can see here on this home page is coming from the mysql database okay so every information is dynamic here as on admin keeps on changing the information in his admin dashboard the information started reflecting here on the home page as well okay so now we will see okay and we have our services and in our services page i have shown various categories okay and then on our instructors page i have listed various instructors and in contact us page I have created a contact us form okay and now let us go back to our home page so here we have the categories like Indian classical Africa American category and if I want to view various dance forms in each and every of these categories then I just need to click on this view dance forms then all the dances which I have added in each and every of these categories will start displaying from here uh, any student can enroll and when the user clicks on enroll now then it will ask you to log in first okay once the user or the student enters their username and password then a payment option along with other details will start displaying once the user enters those details then uh, the student will get enrolled to that particular course so now we'll see that later on so here as you have seen each and every category will have some set of dance forms okay so here the user can view those dance forms and if they are interested to join they can join or enroll 
to these dance forms okay so next is login okay so now i will log in as an admin to show you the dashboards of various users okay now i will log in as an admin okay so now this is the dashboard of an admin where on the left side you can see various options and on the on the right side you can see various figures and now if the admin wants to add any dance category then the admin needs to click on this dance categories here you can see an add category option is given okay when i click on this admin can add the category and if admin wants to edit any of these categories then he just need to click on this edit link then that information will start displaying here on this form from where he can make the changes okay if an admin wants to delete any category then that admin need to just click on this delete icon then that category will get deleted okay so now these are the features related to dance categories uh, okay now the next is dance forms if the admin wants to add any dance form the same kind of interface will be displayed and here admin can add any dance form and from here admin can edit any dance form and with these buttons admin can delete okay and then here you can see list of various instructors will be shown and here list of various students will be shown to the admin and here uh, the details of those students will be shown to the admin who have enrolled any of this uh, courses mentioned in this platform okay so now here to one of the students record it's showing pending okay that means admin has not given an approval uh, for this uh, student uh, but due to various reasons okay, so now i will click on this and from here admin can approve okay i will just click on update status okay now you can see the status gets changed and these are the various features of admin so now i will log in as an instructor okay now when i click on login you can see i will be logging in as an instructor or you can see the title will be displaying instructor dashboard and the name of the logged in user okay here an image profile image along with the name and uh, other details like age experience gender date of join and address will be displaying and here uh, the skills of that uh, instructor will be shown if the instructor wants to add few more skills okay then the instructor needs to select that skill from this list item and when i click on this add that skill gets added in this list okay and apart from this uh, an instructor can upload their profile okay so these are few features of an instructor and now i will log out and log in as a student okay so now you can see i have logged in as a student and a student can also upload their profile along with uploading the profile student can also provide the feedback so now let's log out okay so now i will register a new user as a student now i have entered the details of a student smith pereira and uh, i have selected the user role as student and now when i click on register now then it will take me to the login page okay so from here i will log in we will click on login now okay so when a student gets logged in registered and logged in for the very first time uh, this kind of dashboard will be displayed the student needs to update their profile okay so now i have entered various details and now when i click on upload profile you can see the details start displaying on the dashboard now let's log out okay so here i will go back to my home page so here you can see i have displayed various categories suppose while browsing this platform any of the student wants to enroll to any of these dance forms then the user just needs to click on any of this dance category and various dance forms will start displaying and suppose the student wants to enroll to this break dance okay then that user or the student will click on enroll now then it will take the user to login and now when i click on login okay so now you can see uh, it has taken the user back to their dashboard okay so now i will go 
back to home and again I will click on this view dance form and click on this enroll now and then you can see an enroll with us form start displaying where the details of the logged in user who wants to enroll to this dance form is, will display and there the category name then the dance form and then the fees for that dance and here it uh, here the student needs to enter their address okay and here you can see a list of instructors will be displayed okay so these are those instructors who has break dance as a skill in their profile okay so now i will select tom payment okay I will click on enroll now okay so, uh, now that user gets enrolled successfully okay so now I will click on this enrollment table now you can see Smith Pereira is now enrolled with cash of rupees 490 and this is the address okay so now let's go back and now log in as an admin okay so now let's first log out and log in as an admin okay when an admin gets logged in then another name will start displaying in this enrolled students list and whose name is Smith Pereira and now you can see the the status is pending now admin needs to change the status to approve once an admin uh, receives the payment from this student then uh, admin will approve the enrollment okay update status yes okay uh, so these are few features of this uh, dance academy website which we are going to learn in this complete tutorial series okay so uh, apart from these many features this complete uh, website is fully responsive okay so now if i resize its width now you can see with a different layout the website is getting adjusted okay so now these are admin and logout okay and navigation comes to down and here you can see information is displaying okay dance categories you can see then dance forms then instructors and we have students and enrolled students okay now let's log out okay I will go to home now you can see if I see the home page in smaller device width uh, then like this kind of uh, user interface will display okay so these are the various categories like this you can scroll horizontally and we have popular or trending dances and list of instructors and then I have testimonials okay this complete website is responsive so we will see how to make this website complete responsive as well let me just show you the database here okay so I have these many tables in my database so I just request you guys to watch this complete tutorial series each and every video of this uh, series uh, and uh, so that you will learn a lot of concepts from PHP MySQL using Ajax okay so that's all for this uh, video guys in my next video I will start working on this dance academy website uh, so that's all for this video guys if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching